We just got back from a weekend in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and people couldn't believe that we only went for a weekend. So in this video, we're gonna give you our ultimate weekend itinerary guide for San Juan, Puerto Rico. We depart from the Newark airport, so the flight is only three hours. So we understand if you live further away, you probably can't do San Juan in just a weekend. However, this itinerary that we're gonna give you, you can use during any length of trip that you take to San Juan, Puerto Rico. We left on a Saturday, which is unusual for us. Usually we try to avoid the airports on a Saturday, but because of timing, different circumstances, we left on a Saturday. Our flight was leaving at 8.30 in the morning, so that means we had to get there at 6.30 a.m. Once we got through security, we found some place to have breakfast, found our gate, and waited for our 8.30 a.m. flight. And since it was Saturday morning, the airport was a little chaotic and the lines were long to get food, um, which is why we usually opt to fly either out Sunday morning, Monday, or Tuesday. Thankfully, we did not have any delays, so we were very lucky. And I'm gonna do a whole other video on why we now fly first class. So we're not rich or anything like that, but we have found a way to make sure that we, that we fly first class almost every trip and how much it does improve not only your mindset, but the overall trip. We arrived in Puerto Rico, I would say around 1230 after we got to our gate and got off the plane and I never check a bag in, so make sure you watch my other travel tip videos on how to travel easier and faster. So since I didn't check a bag in, we were able to exit the airport immediately. At that time, you did need a negative test to arrive, but you no longer need a negative COVID test to arrive to Puerto Rico. We also did not rent a car. We opted to either do taxis or Ubers during our stay. So once we exited, the taxi stand was right there and we were able to get one very quickly and we were actually at the hotel by one o'clock. It's only a 15, 20 minute drive at most. We stayed at the Marriott Stellaris, which is in San Juan, and it's one of the closest hotels to the airport. Make sure you watch our other video. We do an entire review of the Marriott Stellaris. We booked the hotel through the Bonvoy app, so it flagged us as Bonvoy members. So when we checked in, we got to go to a special area and the check-in was really, really quick. And even more surprisingly, our room was ready early. So we were checked in and in our room before 2 p.m. Of course, we were a little hungry after our long trip. So once we got our bags in, we changed into our bathing suits and we went downstairs to have lunch at the hotel. And of course we hit the beach right after. So we had left Newark, arrived to Puerto Rico, checked into the hotel, gotten into our room, had lunch, and was on the beach with a drink in hand by 3 p.m. We sit at the beach for about an hour, but then we got up and we walked right next door where there's a CVS so we could get some water and snacks to stock our room. On the way back, we realized we were still hungry because honestly, the food at the hotel was not good at all. So we decided to stop across the street, have some appetizers and drinks before preparing for the night. And then it was time to go take a nap because we knew that we were going to be out late. We were gonna to go to Old San Juan that night, probably go to La Factoria. So we wanted to be well rested and ready. After our nap, we enjoyed the amazing view off our balcony, had a couple more drinks, then started getting ready for the night. Since we had had late appetizers and drinks, we weren't really that hungry. So originally we were gonna go out to dinner and then go to La Factoria but we decided to go right to La Factoria before it got really, really crazy, go there a little early, and then have some late night bites later. So once we were ready, we got an Uber and they actually took us to the front entrance of La Factoria right there, which was great. And we were in the bar with drink in hand before 10 p.m. La Factoria was one of our favorite experiences during our trip to San Juan, so definitely put that on the list. We danced for hours, had drinks, met so many people, just had an amazing time. We left just a little bit before midnight, and of course by now we are pretty hungry. So we walked down the streets, and the streets of Old San Juan are really safe to try to find some place to have a late night bite, and we did. We found this little cute bar called El Quinque, and we had some really good traditional Puerto Rican um, tapas. And everything does take a little bit longer there. Um, the food took about 30 minutes, which wasn't too bad, but remember we're on island time. 
So we ate and then we were actually back in our room by 1.30 or 2 a.m. So we slept in the next morning till about 9 a.m. So it gave us seven hours of good sleep. And when we travel, we usually drink vodka with seltzer water. That way we're hydrating while drinking so we still can have fun, but not get too crazy or feel crappy and not be able to enjoy the vacation. Since it was Sunday, we wanted to do brunch somewhere and we loved the restaurant so much across the street the evening before that we decided to go back and it was really, really good. Now during brunch, we also booked um, a sunset cruise uh, around Old San Juan to do later in the evening. After brunch, we wanted to get in some more beach and pool times. We went back to the hotel, spent some time at the beach and spent some time at the pool before having to get ready for the sunset cruise. Getting ready for the cruise was really easy because I know it was gonna be windy, so I just put something comfortable on and put my hair up and we were ready in no time. The tour company was great. It was Viator.com and they met us at 5 p.m. right on the dot to take us over to the port. The sunset tour was really fun and informative. We had a tour guide that gave us all of the history of old San Juan. Um, we didn't really get to see a sunset. It wasn't really that scenic as well. We were going past cruise ships and kind of in the old ports, but it was fine until we got to El Moro, which was very impressive. It was really neat to see that side of it, but it was only an hour and a half. So it was something fun to do, especially since we were only there for a weekend um, before going into old San Juan. So right from the sunset cruise, we went into old San Juan. We took an Uber. It was, it's only about five minutes away and we ate at this amazing restaurant called Bacaro. And usually you need a reservation, but we just happened to get lucky, I guess, since we came a little bit later and had an amazing dinner. And since we had a late night the night before, we decided to make this one an early night. So we were literally back in the hotel and asleep by 11 o'clock. So Monday was the day of our departure, but we still had the entire day because our flight did not leave till 5.30. So we slept until about 8.30 and then we had some light bites and snacks that we had gotten at CVS because we knew we were gonna have an early lunch in Old San Juan after we checked out. But first I wanted a little bit more beach time so we had a beach swim and sat on the beach for about maybe 30, 45 minutes. Then we went back to the hotel and actually packed everything up to get ready for checkout because we knew that once we went to Old San Juan, we were gonna to have to come back, get our suitcases, and go right to the airport. After we checked out, we got an Uber, and we went right to La Vergüenza, which is another really popular restaurant in Puerto Rico, it has amazing views, so we had been dying to try it, and we got there early enough so we didn't have to worry about seating or waiting in line. After lunch, we still had a few more hours before needing to head to the airport. So we walked up the street to El Moro, which is one of the most popular tourist attractions. In fact, I think it is the most popular tourist attraction in Puerto Rico. And we spent about an hour just walking through this truly, truly impressive historical site. Before heading back to the hotel to get our bags, we got some coffee and then got an Uber back to the hotel. When we got back, we picked up our bags, used the restroom, and then got our Uber to the airport. So we were back at the airport, I would say by around 3.30 because our flight was leaving at 5.30 p.m. So even though it was the day we were departing, we were still able to have an entire day since our flight was not leaving till early evening. Again, we were very lucky on the way back. There were no delays in our flight, so we did take off around 5.30, maybe 5.45. And since it was Puerto Rico, when we landed in Newark, there's no customs or anything like that. You can just get right off the plane. And I think we were probably back at home and I was in my bed, almost asleep by 10.30 p.m. And even though we were able to pack so much into a weekend and really not stretch ourselves too thin, we didn't feel exhausted, we still left wanting more of Old San Juan. So we're looking forward to going back, doing another weekend, trying out some different restaurants and different activities, maybe some different beaches, because we absolutely loved it that much. 
I hope you like this itinerary video. In fact, it's a new format for us. I've never done an itinerary video before. Um, so I would love some feedback. If you could drop in the comments below, maybe something you like, something you didn't like. So I know for future itinerary videos, what to include. Most of all, I just hope you keep following us at Three Days and Trace Noches while we keep bringing you real, honest, to the point information about the destinations that we travel to. And we would love for you to subscribe to our channel so that we can keep the content coming.